Hello everyone, Clint Seeley here. Today's an exciting day. I've got the I've got my fresh, hot off the press, brand new copy of Bernina's Embroidery Software version 7. Um, the Designer Plus version 7. I'm going to try to install it on my laptop. Now this is the first time I'm going to going to attempt to install this program so there may be some problems um, just because I got a lot of things going on right now for one down here you'll see I have a screen capture software going that uses a lot of resources of my computer I've got three other Bernina uh, design programs installed on my computer so that could cause some kind of a conflict nothing you should expect on your end this is not a really a how-to and this is not a tutorial um, where I'm really teaching you exactly how to do it on your particular computer there are a million different types of computers computer configuration so anything I run into you should not expect to run into it may just go uh, just as smooth as smooth can be as well so here we go I, I have a Windows 8 computer um, and I'm putting the uh, the installation DVD in the, in the drive and closing the door and we should see a little pop-up box Windows 8 is different if you're new to Windows 8 you know exactly what I'm talking about Windows 8 ah but what can we do we've, we've got to uh, get used to it. tap here to choose what happens let me tap that and we're going to run the setup exe file let me go ahead and hit that Peter's going to ask me if I want to make these changes. Yes. Let's do this. Now, this may take a while. I'm not exactly sure. I've been told that I can have I can have uh, version 6 of the software and I can have version 7 running on the same machine. So, we'll see. It's always important every window that comes up that you read uh, the window and look at any checkboxes take your time and go through this slowly read and educate yourself instead of just getting all click happy and click 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 sometimes you do things that you're not wanting to really do so let's see welcome to the install shield wizard the install shield wizard will install Bernina embroidery software on your computer to continue click next okay we can click the next yes it's careful to read the license agreement I know you never read the license agreements and I have to be honest I don't really read the terms of service either but you want to scroll all the way down but that's not um, that's not me telling you not to that's just me being honest so you go ahead and read the terms hit the I accept button and we'll hit the next now my program might look, run a little bit slower than yours will, but that because that's I'm I'm recording the screen as well. So, um, let's here's another one. Looks like this one is different. Yep. Who's this one from? The second one by downloading blah blah blah. This is from Corel. The first one was from Wilcom. Wilcom is who develops the software for Bernina. They are the leading digitizing firm. Um, them and Melco, are, uh, who Bernina now owns, are the leading firms on uh, embroidery digitizing software. Corel is your vector engine. So let's go ahead and accept that one and hit next. Otherwise, we just really can't uh, install the software. So you really don't have a choice. Either you don't want to use the software, you do. You do. Now, as this drags on, I'm going to play a little background music. You should be able to hear me. You should be able to hear a little music in the background because, like I said, this could get boring. All right. So let's... Got my little dongle here. Let's attach our dongle. Mine's green because it's a dealer dongle. Yours will be red. Let's attach that guy. I attach it and I give it a second to initialize then I'm gonna to try to hit OK see what happens we gotta verify looks good so far I'm gonna do the complete installation Hit next where do I want 
Um, setup will install Bernina Embroidery Software in the following folder. Programs file x86 slash Bernina. Now I have some other programs installed in this folder. Um, but it should create its own subfolder inside Bernina that says Software 7. Because I know I have Software 6 in there. Hopefully it does not combine or overwrite. Fingers crossed, hit next. Yep. Please select the destination folder for samples. My designs, embroidery software seven. That's good. Okay, here, oh, this is good, okay. Select the installed version you wish to merge user defined settings with. For me, I do not wish to merge. I am not merging, okay? Now, if you guys are doing an update or an upgrade of some kind, that might be different. I'm not saying that it is. You need to uh, look at your user manual or your release notes when we get to this screen. You need to make sure. Don't just click next. But I know that I do not wish to merge, so I'm going to hit yes. Click install to begin the installation. I'm happy with the uh, things I've selected, so here we go, fingers crossed. And we'll see what happens. Like I say, this may take a few minutes. My computer's pretty fast. Um, so it may go quick and your your computer may be slower um, I've seen the installation of these programs take 30 minutes you know it all depends on your computer if you watch this tutorial and then you go through yours and yours is uh, much slower uh, that's because of your computer it's not because of the uh, the program we'll see Very exciting. Hopefully you're not getting too bored. <clears throat> right now it's installing Corel Draw Essentials X6. That's the newest version. You can hardly even find anything on Google about Corel Draw Essentials version 6, X6. If you had, um, if you had the Bernina Embroidery Software version 7, they had Corel Draw Essentials X4. I don't know if X6 is improved. I'm sure it is. I don't know if there's uh, any additional or new features. I'll tell you what would be awesome is if Corel Draw Essentials X6, this new one with version 7, if it had an auto trace feature in it, that would be very, very cool. That w I will be able to show you some cool, new, amazing things in the art canvas. I doubt that is the case. Um, <laughs> we'll see. Because that would be very cool. <clears throat> oh, that's a cool picture. Look at that one. That's neat. That's amazing if that was created. That must have been created in photo paint. Because that does not look like vector art. That's very cool. That's vector art right there. <clears throat> That's pretty cool. That little like the VW minivan. I just saw on the news this morning where Brazil, the very last country that Volkswagen is producing that little minivan of theirs, the old hippie van. Volkswagen is going to stop making completely the Volkswagen minivan. Brazil was the very last country that they were still producing those in. But they have, uh, Brazil has, I guess, they're requiring all new vehicles have all these um, safety features like airbags and, and so forth. And so Volkswagen has decided not to do that and stop making that van. Just a FYI, just tidbit information. 
Oh, that's cool. Ooh, this is slow. What can you do? <laughs> Y'all might want to go make a cup of coffee or something while this is going. This little bar's right here. But I've seen prog I've seen it stay right here. And then uh, all of a sudden it goes there, then boom, 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 and done. I will see. <clears throat> if I have a problem, this is kind of where I'm expecting it to happen. In the Corel Draw part, but that's because I have other versions of Corel Draw installed on my computer for other projects. You probably wouldn't have that issue, so if something happens here, do not be alarmed. Let's see, okay, now that bar's moving. Let's keep moving, baby. Come on. Keep her going. I want to play with my software. So, you know, after this is installed, I'm going to uh, play with some of the new features. They have a new graphic user's interface. <clears throat> or so I've read on the release notes for Embroidery Software version 7, for Designer Plus version 7, they have a new, uh, what they call a GUI, graphic user, or GUI, a graphic user interface, <clears throat> which is going to make it, or so they say, is gonna make it much easier to teach uh, the software because navigating around and finding the buttons and the features are going to be easier than ever, which is really cool. I'm very excited about that. But they have the, you know, some of these new features, which really focus on the 3D features, um, the growing trend or desire to, to do uh, all this 3D stuff. And they have a, uh, I think it's a punch tool that is now compatible uh, with the embroidery software, we can actually digitize things to be using the punch tool with as well. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> so I'm excited to learn about these things. I'm going to the Bernina sponsored training in just a few weeks, but I'm really gonna be getting to know my, uh, my software ahead of time. And I can't wait to start popping out for y'all uh, some some free online tutorials on my YouTube channel as well as you'll be able to find links right here about me or about dot me forward slash Clint Seeley you can also just if you go to Google and Google my name you're gonna be able to find my stuff you know I also teach scuba diving so when you Google my name you might find some scuba diving stuff and then you're going to find uh, the embroidery and digitizing uh, things as well. It's, I'm both the same guy. You probably you'll have no uh, interest in my scuba diving thing, so you just bounce around until you find you can find my YouTube channel, my LinkedIn page, my Facebook. I you know, there's not a, a whole lot of Clint Seelys out there. So when you you Google my name. It's mostly my stuff that comes up now. You'll find a mug shot of some uh, other guy named Clint Seeley that I guess got arrested for something. Of course, if you find that it's not me, if you know what I look like, you'll be like, yes, that's not Clint Seeley, the one I know that teaches me digitizing. Looks like we're getting somewhere now. This is exciting. We're done with the uh, with Corel Draw, and now we're installing the Wilcom side of it. It looks like Embroidery Software Seven is configuring. Our, oh, yeah. All these DOS windows popping up and going away on their own. You know, like I say, you might not learn a lot just from this installation video but what you can do is you can sit back and watch it before you install yours maybe that will help I don't know maybe it'll make it more comfortable with how long the installation takes I don't know you know like I say if you have <laughs> if this goes off without a hitch which I have my fingers crossed and then you have problems when you install yours you're gonna 
you're going to have to contact your dealer um, or maybe even uh, Bernina's technical support. They have a, a, some software people that are really good. Usually, you have to leave them a voicemail and then they get back to you. Especially when something new like this comes out and everybody's getting it at the same time. They're going to be working really hard to take care of everybody. Um, you know, if you find this video and you're on YouTube, I'll leave the comment section open so you can leave comments or ask questions there. I'm not guaranteeing that I'll get back to you uh, very quickly. So if we get to a point here where it asks me to restart my computer, I will shut down my screen capture software first and then I'll restart my computer so that will be the end. Third party drivers, which may include the dongle driver, that little security device that you have plugged into your computer right now, or not you, but that I, that I have it plugged in. We're getting there. It looks like we're close. I'm feeling like we're close, folks. But when the installation's done, I'm not going to start up the program and continue to uh, record. I'll uh, stop this recording and then I'll, uh, once I find my way around the software, I'll, I'll record a few more tutorials for you. So be looking for those. And they'll probably include just getting around the software. Oh, here we go. And some of the new features. Uh, yes, I want to restart my computer now. No, I will restart my computer later. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit no. You would, of course, hit yes. I'm going to hit no so I can then uh, end my screen recording and then I'll restart my computer manually. But it looks like it's finished. Hopefully everything went down well. So I'm gonna hit no and I'm gonna hit finish. And then I will see all of you shortly in another tutorial. Very exciting.